everybody, thank you so much for joining us today. On this episode, we're going to be making bath jellies. If you've ever tried a bath jelly, they're pretty amazing. High-end stores carry them, but they are so much easier to make than you think. All you need is some hot water, a package of gelatin, whoop, some salt, and some bath gel. Now, we're going to we heated our water to where it's almost boiling. We're going to pour in one packet of unflavored gelatin. You can find this in the baking aisle at the store, and it would be the way that you would make your homemade jello. You're going to stir until it's completely dissolved, and then you're going to add one teaspoon of salt to this mixture and continue to stir. You're going to want to grab your silicone molds. It could be any size or shape that you might have. If you don't have one, don't fret. Just line a pan with saran wrap and you can pour your jelly right in there and then you can cut it into pieces. Now that my gelatin is all mixed in, I'm going to add one teaspoon of salt and stir until it's completely dissolved. liquid soap. Now, in my experience, it's better to use a translucent soap than a soap that you can't see through. You can use bubble bath, you can use body soap, you can even use hand soap. I picked the one that smells really great and is sort of a lavender color that would make a great Mother's Day gift. You're going to pour half a cup of your liquid soap into a measuring cup If you would like to add a little bit of food coloring, feel free, but just know it can dye your body and your bathtub or shower. You're going to add it to the salt, water, and gelatin mixture and stir it until it's mixed together. Okay, my suggestion is to put your silicone molds on a cookie sheet because once there's liquid in these, they're weeble wobbly and it's really hard to move them around. Now, I have a really cute little one and then I have a big one. I know that my recipe is going to make more than my little ones in my silicone mold, so I'm going to use both. I'm going to go ahead and slowly fill the molds Don't worry if there's bubbles on top. You can get those off afterwards. You're going to want to grab your saran wrap at this time as well. So just fill up your little molds or you can fill up your baking sheet that you've um, lined with saran wrap at this time and fill it up because then you can just cut it into squares once it has formed. Okay, we're going to cover our mold with saran wrap and we're going to place it in the refrigerator for a minimum of four hours. If you have a very thin mold, it won't take the four hours. If you have a thick mold, it's going to take the full four hours. So just be patient with it. Okay, now our shower jellies are all set up and I have two different options for you. You can start saving your jars, like your salsa jars or things like that, or you can find a really pretty mason jar to maybe put them in, or even just a cute little bag. So I'm going to fill my mason jar with my small shower jellies, and you can add a little ribbon if you want, something like that. But aren't these adorable? When I add them to the jar, they just fill right up and it's so cute. They pop out of my mold so easily. I just push right from the back and they're going to make a great present for someone or save them for yourself. That way you have a fun treat for your bath or your shower and they smell pretty amazing too. You can top the, the jar off with a bow if you want and add a little flower petal, something like that as well. Let me just top them off and close them on up. So pretty. Now, for the bigger ones, I'm going to layer them inside this old salsa jar. 
and they pop right out of here. Now, if you didn't have a silicone mold and you are put it into a pan and are going to cut it, you can just cut it right into squares, pull that saran wrap out, out of your um, pan, cut them right into squares, and then put them down into a jar the same way. Now all you have to do is add a ribbon and a tag and your gift is ready to go. Thank you so much for joining me today on this episode. Be sure to hit that subscribe button so you're notified every single time that we upload a new video. Feel free to comment if you have any questions or any suggestions, and we appreciate you watching. See you next time.